Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Borgen and I'm a postdoc at King's College London. My work aims to understand how chemical changes in the brain are linked to mental health problems so that we can develop more effective treatments. We've recently discovered that we produce chemicals in the brain that are very similar to cannabis, known as endocannabinoids. Since cannabis use has been shown to increase the risk of psychosis, we were interested to understand if the naturally occurring endocannabinoid system might also be altered in people who experience psychosis. We specifically aim to understand if the receptors in the brain that bind to plant-based cannabinoids and naturally occurring cannabinoids might be altered in people who experience psychosis. We use positron emission tomography to measure cannabinoid 1 receptor levels in two independent samples of patients with psychosis, and none of them were using cannabis. Our main finding was that cannabinoid 1 receptor levels were lower in two independent samples of patients with psychosis relative to healthy individuals, and we found this irrespective of whether they were taking antipsychotic medication. We also found that greater reductions in receptor levels were linked to greater symptom severity and greater cognitive impairments. Receptors move inside the cell and become degraded when they're overexposed to agonists that activate them, a process known as internalization. One interpretation of our findings is that patients may have fewer receptor levels due to internalization. This could be secondary to higher levels of cannabinoid 1 receptor agonists seen in the illness, which are synthesized in response to many risk factors implicated for psychosis, such as stress and drug use. Our findings highlight how naturally occurring cannabinoid receptors are altered in patients who don't use cannabis. These findings have key implications for the development of new treatments. In particular, our findings highlight the exciting therapeutic potential of compounds such as cannabidiol, which are able to decrease the affinity of the natural cannabinoid 1 receptor agonists and also prevent cannabinoid receptor internalization. If you're interested to find out more about our work, please click on the link below to read the full paper published in JAMA Psychiatry. Thank you for listening.